Okay, this is the second part of the issue about visio calves of miscellanea blender. I will say again the version of the program we are going to use to 0.48a and also the warning, which is very important. I will not stop to say every keystroke I make. For that, please watch some other of my videos where I explain details of selections and all that stuff, detailed stuff about Blender. Okay, no more delay and let's start working. I will start by just selecting all the objects. With the X key I will delete the objects. I will zoom in a bit to have a better view and I will take my little tablet and show you the shape I will not do. I will be doing it, hopefully you too. Okay, I will trace with these blue traces. I will give this shape yep, like this. Let's go this in very sharp corner and this one thing. Let's do a very simple shape like this one. This rectangle right inside this rectangle will be a hole. Okay, this part will be filled. The part I'm filling with blue traces is going to be solid. Okay, this is going to be solid, all that, and this rectangle right inside will be empty, will be a hole. Okay, that's great. So, I will clean up the diagram and let's start by adding a Vizio Cov Cov, go to the Add menu, Cov, and then add a Vizio Cov. You see, the Vizio Cov appeared right there, where the 3D cursor is. And since we want to modify the components, the control points and the handlers, we need to go into edit mode. Okay? We see this control point with its two handlers and this control point with its two handlers. There is a handler right here and this one right here. Okay? I will select just this one. This one is unselected. Uh, this one is selected. And with Shift D, I will duplicate it. I create a duplicate of that control point, and I move it around. And to constrain it to even steps, I will use the control key. Okay, holding down the control key causes the control point to move only on even steps and to adjust exactly to the grid. I will click right there, and with the S key, I will scale it down so that it is more manageable. Okay, With it selected, Shift D, another duplicate, and I will put it right here, Control key to constrain to the grid, and we got four control points. Okay, Now let's start by connecting them. We want to create segments. We see a segment right here, but we don't see segment between this and this and this part. Okay, so let's take this control point with the shift key I will select this other one. Both of them are selected and with the F key, well I will go to the menu to explain it to explain it better. I will go to this entry in the cough menu. You could you go to the cough menu and go to the entry that says make segment. You can also use the F shortcut. You click on it and you see there is a segment, a newly created segment, right between these two control points I had selected. Okay, I will select this one and this one, only those two, and with the F key I will create the segment. It's right there. And finally I will select this one and select this one and press the F key. Wow! There is an error. Well, Blender is complaining. He's saying, I cannot make a segment right there. Hmm. How weird, isn't it? Well, the reason is very simple. The two control points we got selected are the first and the last control points of the whole curve. And if you want to close, if you want to create a segment between them, you will cause the curve to be fully closed. For that case, you must use a spatial command the Blender has, which is right up here and says toggle cyclic 
or cyclic, I don't know the right pronunciation of it, toggle cyclic, or you can use the C key on your keyboard. You press it and yeah, it created the segment, okay? It's not required for you to have the control points selected, you just can have the whole calf or just one point control point selected and you apply this command and it will close the curve. There is a very nice thing that also happened as a side effect of this command, okay? Which is the region inside the curve seems to be solid right now. Mm, that's nice, okay? Blender fills the inside of a closed Vizier curve automatically. You don't have to do anything special for that, just close the curve. Okay, we've got the control points located in the key places we need them. Right now, we need to get the segments with the right shape. So let's start working from this one. We need this segment to be straight from this control point to this control point. And this is a special place to tell you about the behavior. Blender considers some kind of um, behavior policies you can apply to your handlers, to the handlers of the Vizier curve. And you can do that by selecting, you can select the whole control point for both of those handlers to apply the policy you want, the behavior, to have the behavior you want, or you can just select a handler, okay, with the right mouse button. With the handler selected, you can go to the cough menu, you go up and you find an entry that says control points okay and right down here you find this you find these three words automatic toggle free aligned and finally vector each one of these describes a kind of behavior you can apply to each handler okay in this case we need to use the behavior called vector so i will click on it and what does the vector behavior does for the handler? Well, it causes the handler to keep located in an imaginary straight line between the control point the handler belongs to and the other control point of the segment the handler belongs to. Okay? So if you move this control point around, you will see the handler of the other cup keeps pointing all the time straight into it. Okay? So, I will create just a square by using that technique. Very fast, I select control point with the UV key, I cause it to become vector, but the segment is not straight because this one is not in vector mode, okay, now they are both in vector mode, so the segment is very straight, okay? I will not modify this for now and this, and neither this one. This is the big the handler that belongs to this segment because you see the segment gets into the control point by this side, the side that corresponds to this handler. So V for vector and finally you get this one and V for vector. Okay, that's it. So you get the basic shape, the downside is with the basic shape. Okay, time is running very fast and I will have to cut another time once again. So let's go to the third part of this special issue of Miscellanea Blender.